Switching gears, why don't we turn our sights to website design and optimization? I spend a lot of time on positioning and how it unfolds on websites. And I'm always surprised and troubled that so many homepages are confusing and unclear. You read the headlines and have little clue about what the company actually does. And to make matters worse, many websites are badly designed, far from intuitive, and they make it hard for people to get the information they need or want. Given the importance of a website, why do so many companies drop the ball when it comes to copy and design? Loaded question, but I know you spend a lot of time focused on this and your company obviously designs and develops many, many websites. It's actually a great question. If we were behavioral economists, we would try to research this and find the answer. Why do smart, experienced, veteran, data-driven marketers build things that are not focused on the user? Is it that we lose sight of the audience when we start focusing on brand or is it an obsession with differentiation? Is it a, is it a concern that if we're too specific in our, in our marketing language that we're going to exclude certain groups? People do that. So they write these headlines that are super vague or they just do stuff that looks very clever, but isn't clear at all. Um, regardless of the reason, it's just a disaster. If your site fails the five second test, why? What would it cost you to just write a specific headline that names your service? Why do people have these weird headlines that say like finding a better way or pioneering, you know, the difference in future today. No one knows what you do. Why would you do that? You assume that hundred percent of your visitors are already brand aware. You know, are you excluding all of your new potential prospects and only talking to your customers? I don't understand why people do that. It's easy to, to disabuse them of that notion though. If you show them the results of a five second test which by the way, you can do during a meeting. If you go to usability hub and upload two screenshots, A and B, one that's clever, one that's clear in 20 minutes, you're going to have the results and you can show them during the meeting. And it often stops the conversation and they stop getting overly brand focused. They start becoming more empathetic. You know, if in opinion versus opinion, the highest paid opinion wins. So opinion versus data, the data will should win. So bring data to your meeting if you're trying to help someone make a better decision about their own positioning or copywriting. And the other question relates to navigation and making design intuitive, user-friendly, accessible. And I find a lot of websites, I can't do what I want. There are CTAs peppered all over the place, suggesting that I ask for a demo when I'm really not interested in a demo. Why do companies make mistakes there? And what are some of the basics they should be looking at in terms of making their site as, as user-friendly as possible? Another way to think of all this is that everything on your website is in fact, just a hypothesis that you're testing and go look at your analytics to see the click-through rate on those calls to action and then conclude, you know, whether or not that's your new benchmark, you're happy with it, or if you want to try something else and try to improve that click-through rate. The demo one though, Mark, you mentioned one that I'm really interested in testing and we're testing a little bit. I think request a demo is an ambiguous CTA and this city correlates with click through rates. So we should be specific when possible, but a demo could mean you're going to watch a video or it could mean you're going to talk to a rep. So I'm actually concerned about that CTA and interested in trying different things. Get started is very specific or action oriented, concise that, te that we've been doing tons of testing on and, and see that performing pretty well. Think about it this way. The reason you make a navigation label, a CTA or a menu item is to help your visitor accurately predict what they'll get if they click. So if you called it solutions, what's that about? That's generic to millions and millions of companies. Why be generic to millions of companies? Why not be specific to you? And if you call it healthcare data analytics solutions, ah, now I know if it's for me, I can accurately predict what I get if I click. So that's, so specificity correlates with conversion, same message about the headlines. So look at every word on every, on your top pages, at least, and ask yourself if you've missed any opportunities to be more specific and thereby more helpful to your visitor.